Hey, welcome back. Steve here, Soggy Bottom Farm. Look, I hate to admit it, but the slip rings did not work. Especially on this end of that drill. I could spend a whole bunch of time trying to figure out how to make that contact stay in touch here with these things constantly. So no matter what, but you know, you think about it, this thing won't be rotating. I don't need a slip ring anyways. So what I did is I bored out some PVC fittings that were just laying around here. You know, couplings, male adapters, whatever the heck you can come up with. And I've glued into the bottom of this one a female... 110 volt outlet. They got numbers on them. Let me see if I can find it. Put on my birth control glasses here. I can't see it. It's on the wrong side of the plug. But anyways, you know what that is. Find something that will fit in a fitting for you. And then on this drill, I've done the same thing, but I put the male. I'm only using these two terminals. And I'm going to glue that thing onto the handle. And then we'll just plug this thing in. This will go inside of here. And we'll just plug it in. Hopefully there's enough height here. To keep that thing from rocking and falling over. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue all this stuff up. I got nothing to lose. It was trash when I started. So hang in there. I'm going to get all this glued up. I may or may not champ for these edge you know honestly i'm not going to be holding this tool i'd have to make an extension cord with one of these on the end that was attached to the battery right now i'm just going to go with these clamps this just junk laying around here i need to throw it away or use it i don't want to uh bequeath it to my daughters so let me consume some of this trash. Hang in there. We're going to put a fan on my lawnmower today. What do you say we finish this up today? I got a switch here. This thing must be older than me. Nothing but English on it. Valparaiso, Indiana. But it's a double pulled switch. 15 amps. I don't think this thing will pull 15 amps. But either way, let me show you what I got. Here's our uh, air conditioning. Well, it's just a fan, you know that. I haven't decided how to deal with this end yet, but we can test it. You know, I'm gonna uh, I, I epoxy the magnet onto this fitting here. I epoxy this male plug in into uh, this one inch coupling I reclaimed. Dirty old piece of pipe I bored the coupling back out, glued it. Anyways, wow, this magnet is strong. I'm gonna put this on my Kubota. It's got a metal hood. And then the intention is we'll just uh, plug that guy in. It's a little top heavy, so we gotta see how she's gonna handle the bumps and stuff you don't want it falling over while it's running but i'm going to uh mount this switch somewhere and then uh lengthen the positive side of this uh battery connector here this clamp and we'll uh, be able to turn it on and off and i'll just tie wrap this switch down and then turn it on and off with the uh, the switch. Let me take you out to the lawnmower. We'll figure out where to put this thing. Hold on a moment. Be patient. We'll be right back. All right, we're out here at the Kubota. I'm going to be able to move this thing around if I want to. Well, my cord has a lot to do with where I can put it. I've decided I'm either going to punch a hole in it down here or in here somewhere. And mount this switch everywhere else uh, like I got to clean this screen I can't put it uh, I thought about putting it up here somewhere but I don't want to unwire it to clean my screen that thing 
be nice if that drill would stay on there when I open the hood that's another video but uh, let's see what will happen if it can't do that we might as well just go ahead and figure that out first Come on, baby. Sorry about that. I can't do this stuff one-handed. I try, but I'm not good at it. Let me turn this base plate here. Let me go this way. Come on. That magnet came out of a rodless cylinder. I know that's going to fall off of there. Let's find out. Well, that didn't work too good. I stuck four neodymium, neodymium, whatever you say, magnets underneath the beach corner here. This magnet. And then I got another magnet under here. This seems a bit extreme, but... Uh, I don't want to drill holes in this hood. I don't want to be the guy that ruins this lawnmower. But it's holding it. I think almost. We'll see what happens when we're riding around. But let me go get another fan because I busted the fan when it fell off of there. Oh, wow. Come on, Steve. I bet if I just bolted it to this plate, I wouldn't be relying on magnets only. But let's see what happens. We're going to take it for a ride after I get it wired up. I'll bring you back in a few. Hang in there. Okay, we're ready to test it out. I got that switch mounted right there. I turn it on. It spins. I'll use the down position for the uh, opposite socket when I want to use that thing in a horizontal manner. That's my tie wrap. This piece of wire tightened up to hold this thing all the way in. Full max RPMs. So let me get this uh, Kubo to start it up. We'll turn that dude on and we'll see what happens. You hang in there for a minute. Okay, all joking aside, this thing held up pretty good. I can definitely feel it when I'm sitting in the seat. I might lengthen the cord, get a little closer if I need to, but just remember, a fan has got to know his limitations. I must have pushed it a little too hard there in the end. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this little moment of nonsense. Come on back. I'll show you what I'm going to do with this end of it. I got an even more productive way of using this old motor. All right, this is Steve out. Soggy Bottom Farm. Come again. I'm going to put this in there somewhere in that video. You know them RPMs are matching the frame rate of this bone. But anyways, I got to mow all of this. It's going to take me about three hours. I am not going to stop it at all. I want to see if I got to uh, add some venting back here. You know, there is a fan in the back of that little motor. Let's see if this guy gets hot on us. Let me show you this frame rate. That's maximum RPM. Now I'm slowing it down. Hear it?
So while we're cruising around and I'm videoing, it is running. Hold on. We go maximum RPM. You hear it? All right, I'm gonna mow for a couple hours and bring you back. We'll check the heat on that thing. Hang in there.